shiny bling and diamond rings weren't the only thing sparkling at Tiffany's on Thursday night. Ari may have dressed in all black at the Tiffany & Co party, but girl shined bright like a diamond when she hit that stage. It's safe to say that Ariana stole the show on Thursday night at the Tiffany & Co party. When the company's newly renovated store was fully unveiled, the singer became the talk of the party when she hit the stage. Ariana shared a couple of her performances, and for those of you who haven't yet attended the party on Instagram, the singer sang sometimes off of her latest album. And to no one's surprise, diamonds are a girl's best friend, because as Ariana captioned the video, she said, what else do you sing when you're singing at Tiffany & Co? I mean, if you can only sing one song at Tiffany's, that's definitely the one to sing. Aside from performing at fancy parties and gearing up for her upcoming Dangerous Woman tour in 2017, Ari is also getting ready for her role as Penny Pingleton in Hairspray Live. With the musical production airing in just a couple of months, Craig Zidon, one of Hairspray Live's producers, opened up about how Ariana was casted for the musical. Craig revealed that he and his partner Neil Moran didn't reach out to Ariana about playing Penny, saying it was actually the singer who reached out to them about the role. During a conference call with reporters, Craig revealed, quote, when we started casting, we hadn't gotten to those roles yet, and we got a call from her manager saying she would like to play Penny. We did not contact Ariana or her representatives. She contacted us, and we were overwhelmed and thrilled and pinching ourselves. We were thrilled that she wanted to play Penny and didn't say, write me a new song. She said, I love Hairspray. I love Penny. Don't change anything. Don't make it bigger. Let me play the part as it exists. It shows her passion for doing this and the project. So how do you guys feel about Ari not getting an extra song to sing on the live musical production? I think it says a lot that she'll do it as is. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. When you're done with that, you can click right over here to check out Taylor Swift's first album on an episode of Throwback that you can't miss. Subscribe to Clever News. Thanks for hanging here with me. I'm Ryland Adams and I will see you soon.